Uh, hello YouTube. How's everybody doing? I'm mopping over a bridge. Oh yeah, four to six thirty rads, nice and smooth. Yes, you're good. Oh yeah. You ready for the sound of sweetness? Just ah, uh, chef's kiss. Oh yes. We've got our letter from the government paying us thirty-eight hundred dollars an acre to destroy our crops. So I'm taking the shredder out. I'm gonna go mow down some corn. 3,800 bucks is 3,800 bucks, you know? So we're almost to the field now, and yeah. Hey, if anything though, the AC does work. This tractor really needs a cab kit. As you can, you can tell, it needs a cab kit, needs repainted, but nah. While we're doing it, guys, taking it down. 3,800 bucks an acre to do this. Shame, but the government wants it, so I don't really know what we else, uh, what other choice we have. Works out 3,800 bucks an acre. I mean, we're making more money doing that, so just as well. Guys, I'm kidding. Uh, the government, I'm sure, I don't know if you've seen it on TikTok or heard about it through word of mouth. As far as I know, all of it is a complete scam and a joke. Uh, <laughs> We're not getting paid to destroy our crop. I wish. That kind of takes the fun out of everything, though. Then you're not really a farmer. You're just kind of like a grower and a destroyer. Uh, in this sense, I am a destroyer, and I'll explain why. So, for those of you who aren't familiar in the seed corn game, uh, you hit a point each year where, okay, so in seed corn, there's either fertile fields or sterile fields. Uh, I mean, if you understand basic biology, you understand what fertile and sterile means, so I'll just leave that at that. This is a sterile field. I wasn't sure until I looked. So sterile means they pull the female tassels. Fertile means, no, sterile means, hold up. What? Now I'm confused. Fertile means they pull the female tassels, so they cut the female tassels off the seed core, off the female plants. And then they come through the puller and they actually pull the tassels. And then they have kids come through and get with the puller mist, whatever. Milking the cow right there. Oh, I'm excited. So this is a fertile field. And then there's pale plants. So basically it's controlling the corn sex is what it is. Controlling corn sex. And uh, it creates a certain hybrid because everything's done on a certain day. Blah, 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 blah. Controlled pollination, right? Sterile, they just cut it. Females tassel out, male pollinates, female blah blah blah, sterile field. All I do is cut it. This is a fertile field. So basically, on this end, we have one hybrid for like this third of the quarter. A quarter is 160 acres. So for like 60 ish acres, we have one kind of seed corn. And then for the, for the rest, the other 100 ish, we have another guy. Alright? So separating those two, we have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows of male that separate them. Basically, it keeps the two from mixing. So, we have male destroyers in the field, which I'll show you right now. Give me a second, please. There's a male destroyer going through right now. Basically, that has a barrel with chopping blades that just spin and they just destroy the male, the male corn. Because the male corn never gets harvested. The male corn is basically useless after pollination. So I'm going through with the shredder and destroying that male isolation. Because they aren't going to do it and they're not going to harvest it, so they want it destroyed one way or another. This is just the best way it works out for us to do. Now on borders, most borders are 12 rows or 16, 20 rows. So in that case, we use our stock chopper, which is just those rolling baskets with blades on the end both facing opposite ways on the row so like one one way is facing this on the, on the, so on one row one bass would be facing that way the other one would be like this so it really chops it up so always take that over the male borders for the male isolation on the edges and uh this is the best way we have for doing it in the middle of the field so basically i get some quality time with the old 4630 ac works can't complain i don't know it ain't, it ain't our, but she does the job. Put them up to the shutting down, yeah. You know I ain't not around, yeah. No matter what time or town, I can't get you gone. Turn a bar, yeah, upside down. Just looking for something that does it. I give them all my money. Ain't nobody selling nothing you prove. Something stronger than I'm used to. I've been pulling... Woo! Man. 
thought I had auto steer on that. Oh, hello once again, YouTube. I got some some corn cobs that I picked. We're just gonna see how they turned out. So this is off my field this year. This is dry land. So this is off of a corner where the pivot doesn't get. We're just gonna peel this old girl out. See that? See how efficient that was? Okay, well that's the dry land one. Doesn't look too bad. Overall, I think it looks pretty good. Oh, it looks like a lot more full, full of a cob. You can see him kind of side by side there. Irrigated, dry land. You can see this one looks a lot better. I mean, obviously, that would make sense. You know, you can water it, it's gonna look better, but this is, this is irrigated and this is dry land. Huh. Both of them look really good though. Both of them look really, really good. Uh, so I started my day today. I went to Napa this morning early and I got some frame paint. So I painted the frame and the diff on my white truck. The bottom of these doors and stuff I'd already painted. You can kind of tell it was chipped off there by rattle canned it. And the rockers, I didn't rattle can, but the rockers have been replaced in the cab corners. So it's just surface rust. So before that takes off and anything I don't want it to turn into, I'm going to uh, take all that paint off with a wire brush and grind, grind out any little rust divot stuff. And then I'm gonna actually use my paint gun on the bottom of those doors this time and uh, do it right. Okay, there's the back of my diff. Turned out pretty good, I think. Got the frame in there, the springs all the way down. Overall, it looks pretty nice. Um, this is a couple days later from when the, this video started. Um, and since then, really all I've done is, well, I've done a lot, but I've gotten the inside of my white truck all cleaned out, and detailed, detailed. I got this washed up and waxed, and then the 8130 washed up and waxed and coated. So just to show you the difference, this is this is washed and waxed and coated with my ceramic coat stuff. Ugh, I got hiccups. You can tell that. We'll go to the 8430. It's like a world of difference. It just looks so dull and dead. So this is the one I'm doing today. But before I can really do that, I need to run to York again because I need some more detailing stuff. Um, I've kind of been using what the shop has and it works. Obviously you can tell it works really nice, but uh, it would be better if I had my stuff that I use on my pickups. So I'm gonna have to run to York here soon, shortly and uh, get those. So I also have to change the oil in my white truck today. Oh, that was a bug. I hate, I don't, I mean, I'm not a little girl, but man, I hate when bugs are crawling on me. Right, Danny? Yes. Yes, that's my good big boy. Good big boy. No? You don't want to be my good big boy today? You always want to be good big boy. Look at his eyelashes. Oh, they're so cute. I'm a big dog guy, as you can tell. Yeah. Yeah. Thumbnail, smile. <laughs> he loves me, I promise. He loves me. Without me, he'd be dead. He would have no food, no shelter, nothing. It's my kid. He would also have a terrible immune system because he wouldn't have any shots, right? Go lay down. You can go back, you can go back to bed, it's okay. All right, he's, uh, he's not very talkative today. Probably gonna head to York now, but then yeah, I also am probably gonna get lunch while I'm in town. Just because why not? A little Runza, a little Runza action, never hurt anyone. Golly, it just looks so much nicer in here. I mean, come on now. Come on! And I got my notepad and my pen on, a pencil, I guess, and my checks. What more could I want? Nothing. So I'll get a little start up. It's a good run of truck right there. Like, look at how clean my AC stuff is. So oh, we're all good. Pop that up to two. Change engine oil. Eh, I'm not gonna be like Laura and never do it. Before, before I get attacked in the comments, like, ah, oh, your check engine light's on. I wanna show you what the codes are for. Glow plug eight circuit. Another cylinder eight. Yeah, so, and then we go back to here. See, it's just glow plug stuff. I'm gonna clear that though, just so it's gone. Yeah, no check engine light. But I do really need to get this girl retuned. 
because she just, she runs too smoky for me. It's too, um, there's not enough really, uh, how do I, how do I put this? It's not pulling in enough air and it's injecting too much fuel. I think it's pulling enough air, it's just putting in too much fuel is the problem. Cause it doesn't run super smoky, but it runs a little smoky. I don't like that. My average is still 20 and a half mile a gallon, but it's just annoying when you see stuff like that. It's like, Gah! So I'll catch you guys when I'm in York. I'm sitting in the Walmart parking lot eating my Jimmy John's. Currently very frustrated because for whatever reason, my service doesn't work. I really just wanted to sit here and watch TikToks for like 10 minutes while I eat a sandwich. But my service won't work. So I can't do that. I've just been sitting here in silence staring at like people and eating. That's all I've been doing. It even says four bars of LTE. I swear one bar of LTE works better than four. I don't understand that. For my selfie, my ass! Okay, well, now I'm back at the shop and I wanna show you guys. I uh, apprehended a few detail items. So these are all cleaning wipes and I got two balls of protectant, some carpet cleaner and my ceramic coat stuff and then some polish. And my goal for today, I wanna, well, first of all, I'm gonna wash my pickup and then I'm gonna try and polish my wheels like the, cause the, the offset, the lip is not shiny anymore. So I wanna get those kinda cleaned up. Um, and then I might try polishing a little section of my flatbed and see if it would polish the whole thing. And then if it will, obviously I'm going to do that last, but I'm going to polish my flatbed if it works. But then I'm going to wash the 8430 with duals on the front and I'm going to polish that up real nice. Make that look uh, really clean. So that's the goal for right now. So let's get to it. So, focus, if you keep things washed fairly often, you don't have to wash them. Er, hold up, let me rephrase that. <clears throat> if you wash stuff often, it's easier to wash when you have to wash it, if that makes sense. So, equipment's different, you ain't gonna, you know, wash a piece of equipment every time you bring it in from the field, but if you wash your pickups frequently, you won't have that much stuff you need to take off. So, I'm gonna let this drip dry a little bit. Um, and we're gonna pull it. Actually, I'm just gonna pull it inside. If you pull it inside, get it out of the center after you wash it. You don't have to do deal with water spots, which is nice. There, now it's pulled in. It can drip dry. But yeah, I'm really curious if that flatbed will really polish up. I think I'm just gonna go on. Well, I gotta unload my detail stuff first. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'm just gonna put the wheel on my uh, impact driver and just see if it'll take stuff off or not. Because now my ever so. My, uh, my ever so curious mind is curious. The first real step though is to find a good place to put all that detailing stuff. And I just don't know what one is. I have to find a nice organized place for all this. This I didn't really need, but I got, it's just another wrench set, but it has stubbies. It has stubby wrenches and stubby wrenches are handy and we don't have any. So I did get a, a, a wrench set today. That was, that was a good purchase. Yeah, it's hyper tough, whatever. If you spend, a bunch of money on tools and you work on a farm i think you're dumb if you're a service tech or something i could see it but if you spend a bunch of money on tools and you work on a farm you're dumb because they're just going to get treated poorly and you're just going to lose them and then you're going to hate yourself so no one wants to hate themselves so don't be dumb so it is going to require me to relocate my cooler that the wonderful people at big iron sent to me okay now i need to dead dead broom where is broom Ah, found it. I was gonna say I, I, I was gonna say I hate when people don't put stuff back where it belongs, but I was the last person to use broom. So I'm glad I didn't. Now we are just going to clean up Danny's dog food catastrophe. Kid's a messy eater. Unlike his dad. That's one thing he does not get from me. Although it doesn't it doesn't really work like that with dogs. But that's okay. Okay, I'm gonna clean this. Okay, 
Okay, so now these are all dirty rags and this is empty. So I'm just gonna take these and throw them away. Ah, I love when I knock stuff over. Oh, uh, why, why? Matra fiber rags for this stuff. There's only a few left in here, so I'm just gonna pull them out, put them on top of that bag, and then put that one like this. Take these things and throw them away. Oh, I'm gonna come back when I'm done with this. All right, well, that's what it looks like. I wish I got another bottle of protectant just because it would look more satisfying, but that's okay. That's much, much better. Now, if only I could uh, find the motivation to make this entire section look like that. Yeah. Funny thing is I've done it plenty of times and then, you know, you give it two weeks and then it looks like all that again, which isn't perfect, but oh well. No one's perfect. The only perfect person was Jesus. Okay, well now let's just find out how that uh, polish is gonna work, huh? Nice. Nice. All right, I'm just gonna do a little section right here. I'm just gonna put some on there and run it and cut it and wipe it off. We're gonna see what happens. Well, here's what the panel would have looked like before. Ah, dang it. Now I'm gonna have to do the whole thing because that just looks stunning. Here, that, you can see it better like this. You can see that compared to the rest. Ah, that's all right. Uh, you know, it is hot, so maybe I'll just do it now. Cause I gotta, I'm gonna have to go in by hand here, I'll show you. It's just gonna be a lengthy video. I'm gonna have to go in by hand on the back here. Actually, I might not have to, but I wanna pull out a bunch of the clumps. Cause you can't blow them out, but I just like to pull them out and then blow it. Cause there's big clumps in there and like up in there too. It's the worst part about washing equipment. That's where all the dirt gets held, but it's all right. So I'm gonna get to polish and then I guess, I don't, I don't know. All right, well, I'm gonna polish this whole side and just see what I think, like that whole side there. So I'm just going to set up a time lapse. Let's do it. Well, I, I think you guys get the point. So I'm gonna keep working. I'll show you some close-ups here, but uh, I'm gonna get this done. Here's, I gotta wipe it with not a damp rag, but you can see that, how that's turning out. And whole side and then boom, nothing. The back is gonna look super good. And yeah, obviously this side. All right, take a look at this. So I'm also getting a little marks all over the paint on this on the back door but that's why i have ceramic stuff we can take that off so i'm gonna keep working see you guys when i'm done if i make it to the end alive i'm really glad i didn't do a time lapse for that whole thing because my phone would have died before i was done so let's just all right here's a comparison this is my dad's flatbed okay keep that look in mind all right i'd say total time i mean i probably worked on the truck for three hours total and there she is didn't turn out too bad. I could have done a lot better on that panel, obviously, but like the bed part turned out good. I'm happy with how the booty came out. Uh, the sides turned out really nicely. The wheels turned out really, really good. I polished those up too. Um, but like the, the headache rack turned out well. The truck turned out good too, you know? I mean, it just looks, it looks pretty solid right now. I like it, I'm happy with it. I was thinking of doing something with the ranch hand, but I still got to wash the 8430 and no chance. So I did cave. I'm going to blow it off on the back, but. Did you guys like the... Yeah, I'll show you what that is. If you didn't know. Hydraulic suspension in the front, it's called ILS. It's called, uh, it stands for independent link suspension. The other type of suspension that's more familiar is this. Just the swivel with the straight axle in the front. But, eh. I, uh, ILS rides much, much smoother, much nicer.
tool. All right, I'm gonna pull it around. We're gonna wash it. How funny would it be if I just like creamed my white truck with the 8430? Just absolutely smoked it. I love that thing too much. Look at the glimmer off the rims. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. All right, I already have the power washer over here from when I wash my pickup, so. Is ready for another time lapse? Okay. Put them up to the sun down. You know I ain't not around it. No matter what time or town, I can't get you gone. Turn the bar yeah, upside down. Just looking for something that does it. I give them all my money. Ain't nobody selling nothing you prove. Something stronger than I'm used to. I've been pulling 92 or 100. Feel like nothing. I finished washing it so now the stuff that i put on to make it shiny uh everything needs to be dry so i'm just gonna let it sit out there it's windy it'll be dried off in half an hour i'm gonna chill till then because i've been doing nothing but cleaning washing waxing for the last like five hours so i'm gonna sit here for a little bit okay everyone i finished washing and waxing everything so 44 30 looks brand new 81 30 looks really good brand new that's 84 30 same glimmer. Ooh, ah, my phone's about to die. That's why I'm kind of rushing. Oh, look how nice. Looks so good. Oh, yes. Boma. I'm gonna close with this video. If you like, subscribe and like the video. If not, I don't care. I can't force you to do anything. 